Hey, welcome back. And today we've got a new video that, for you that is about headphones. But first, we're gonna kinda get back to what's new in the studio here. We keep doing these little segments, if you wanna call it, in the studio about our space. Um, kinda helps us promote a little bit. So, the first thing that is new is not really much. It's just been clean up and getting um, routing done in the console, this guy behind me, and getting the gear down here working correctly and getting mics in the live room working with the new desk and then rerouting some things because there were some things that just didn't quite work for the particular workflow that we do. So, and, and so on. So anyways, um, that's kind of today's update. We are still doing our Foco MX deal where bands signed up with or signed up to play Foco MX, get up to 50% off recording, mixing, and mastering here. Um, I did send that to Foco MX, so they may be doing a post on that here soon. But if you're in the uh, kind of in the area, I'm going to say Denver um, to Cheyenne area and kind of that same distance east and west. Um, we have another deal running that is a one free song deal. So basically you can come in, get a free song that's recording, mixing, and mastering. Hey, if you're not in the area also and you want us to mix a song, you know, send us a message and we'll work that out with you too. You can go through our website at foxandrobinrec.com. There is a contact page you can hit and it'll it'll basically send you an area where you can send us a message. So we're going to get on with today's video, and today's video is about headphones. And I'm going to reach down here and grab a pair of headphones. And these headphones are ones that I have been enjoying that I did not believe I would enjoy long term. I bought them for clients, and I've kind of come to enjoy them for tracking. And these are the Audio-Technica ATH M20Xs. Um, they're closed backed. They do make, I believe, a higher end version of these that are open. I don't remember, but they have a fairly long cord on, which I like, especially when you're tracking and your headphone amps just a little bit further away from where you're record, from where you're actually recording at. Or if I need to have a client sit on the couch and wants to listen to a pair of headphones, I pull these out because they got a long cord and so on and so forth. They're great. Um, they're pretty even sounding. I wouldn't say they're they sound fantastic or they're like oh these have awesome low end. They just sound flat, like they sound fairly decent for what they are. Um, these were super cheap. These are the cheaper line. They have higher end versions, but these are like the bottom of the barrel. Just, I have two pairs of them here in the studio because I needed a couple extra pairs. And these have been great. I'm actually probably going to get a couple more. I do recommend them. They're great if you're starting out. They're fairly comfortable. They fit on your head fairly easy, and they isolate pretty well. I can hear myself talking, but I can't hear the room. So, um, I can now that I took them off, but they're, they adjust pretty well. Um, so I have these and then I have another pair and these are my AKG T K240 studios that I've had for, oh man, probably a decade now. I've had these for a long time, but I bought a custom braided cable that is short for here at the desk um, because long cables around my desk get tied up my feet or my chair and then I end up tripping or pulling them or breaking the connection out of the console, because I've done that a couple times. So anyways, kind of the point of this video is, you know, find you a cheap pair of headphones that you like if you're first starting out. Um, if you aren't first starting out, I recommend getting your pair of K240s open back for mixing, I like. I'm not a fan of the closed back for mixing. Some people are, no judgment there. Um, and, you know, these are great for someone who's building a studio like hey we need a bunch of headphones like we've got everything else we got our interfaces we got all our software and we're starting out but we need a bunch of headphones so we can record our band these are great because they're cheap i think i paid 30 bucks for these or something like that at my local music go around but i know you can get them other places amazon guitar center if you choose to do that sweetwater i think even carries them but they're anybody who carries audio technica pretty much carries these because they're kind of just a staple brand, but I do like that they're a long cable. I do not like that the cable is molded into here. So, um, you can't really change the cable if the cable breaks, but they're so cheap that it's like cable breaks. You just pitch them and go buy them and keep the ear, ear cups because ear, ear cups can be tricky to get and, you know, pitch them and get another pair. But so far I like them for tracking. I've been using the track drums, which I'm doing for another video. 
that I'm going to be making here soon. Anyways, that's kind of today's video. Um, don't really have much less to, much more to say because I've had too many people say that I talk too much. So, anyways, I guess um, next time I'll just play and not talk at all. So, thanks for watching our video. Hit the like, hit the subscribe, hit the bell. All those are good things. The bell will notify you when we post new content like we are doing now. Um, we've been trying to post every day. So thanks for those who have watched all of our videos every day. All those new subscribers that we've gotten in the last couple weeks. Fantastic. Thank you. Um, if anybody else finds these and likes them, hit the subscribe, hit the like, hit the bell. Um, do all those things. You'll get more content. Um, if you like our content, share it with friends, share it with people you think might find it interesting or might just get a good chuckle out of it. Um, yeah, that's kind of about it for the day. Uh, we'll see you all next time. And you know what? Go make some music.